Welcome cuties, let's create. Today I'm going to be customizing or personalizing an apron. I got this apron at Hobby Lobby and I thought it was just so cute because it has like a little ruffle at the bottom and it was white because I was actually going to tie dye it when me and my husband did tie dye. But as we were doing it, I was like, I actually don't know if I want to tie dye it because I would rather have it flow with our kitchen. So I want polka dots and I want them to be this light blue color. And I also want to paint on sunflowers. So I have this light, lightish brown and yellow. I'm going to be using the O instead of the actual polka dots just because I like the size. I have this textile medium so it's like very very liquidy and you add it to any craft paint and it should make it into a fabric paint. And I, so I go ahead and I put those together. It says that it's supposed to be a two to one ratio but I actually did a one to one. <laughs> So, yeah, but I feel like it turns out fine. So, you can never have too much fabric. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know, is it just like a fabric softener? Anyway, I don't know how they do it. But I went ahead and I mixed it up and I was just gonna paint it on the circles. I was gonna randomly place them. And here in just a second, I go in and I'm gonna paint and I put down this like hard surface but I end up not using that for the rest just because I feel like it was too hard to get a good camera angle because the apron's so big but I'm painting on just a little tiny spot of it so it was kind of difficult but I feel like it works out fine so I go ahead and I get the stencil and I just paint it over like this and when I lift it the edges are like all jaggedy so I was like you know what I'll just like smooth these out and I'm actually gonna just trace them so I had to wipe off because it got the stencil a little you know I got paint on it and I started going in and tracing where I wanted my polka dots to be and then I was like oh I should also draw in where I want my sunflowers to be as well because it's you know kind of a smart idea <laughs> and so and I kind of wanted them to overlap I want them to be sporadic but I don't want it to be like too many polka dots so that was kind of a challenge <laughs> but after I was done with that as you can see I kind of I tried to do it as light as I could and oh, this part like makes me sad <laughs> because I like ruined this dot. I So obviously I didn't paint for a very long time and traced all my things and my little mixture kind of separated. So I, when I went to go paint it, it like, as you can see, it, what would that be called? It like expanded. <laughs> So I had to like try and go in with like shout and try and you know use a stain remover. It got most of it but it looks a little smudgy but it's fine. And then the rest of the polka dots turned out great. So I went in and the first layer of paint on the polka dots or even the sunflowers, the first layer of paint, it definitely seeped through and got on my table, but I hurry and wiped it off once I was done and it did come off, so it was fine. Um, but the only thing is once I am able to do a second coat, I can go on and since now it's a thicker material and has the, you know, the paint between and it didn't get on the table. So that was kind of nice that I only had to deal with it once. So all I did is just paint, you know, these polka dots, these circles, and I really like the color. I really like the, like, baby blue. I think it's really pretty. I kind of have, like, turquoisey baby blue. I don't know what it would be called, but it's, like, super in right now. Yes, I am in with the trends, but I just think it's so pretty. I like, oh, what would you, I don't even know what they call it. Like, a teal seafoam green? <laughs> I, I don't know, but 
I think it's pretty. So this was close enough. It's, I mean, it's not like I'm going to be wearing this all the time. It's just an apron. So, and I liked the idea. I thought it was going to be cute. And it does. It turns out so adorable. I really like it. It was an easy, simple craft. So as you can see, I just lifted it up. I had um, my paint palette that's flat. I tried to do that underneath it, but it was kind of difficult just because I could only work in little sections at a time. So that's when I was like, you know what, forget it. <laughs> we'll just paint everywhere else and just ignore, you know, it is what it is. So it was, it was fun. And I feel like this is an easy enough craft and a cheap enough craft because I mean, craft paint is super cheap. I think you can get it for like 50-ish cents at Walmart. And then I found the textile medium at Hobby Lobby. But as long as I think Michael ha Michael's has a textile medium and it's from Martha Stewart. So just as long as it says textile medium, you're fine. That's, that's all it needs to say. And yeah so and I've used it before and I feel like it works really well and um, I used it on my shoes so I will leave a video to that if you want to see me paint my shoes they are so freaking adorable oh my gosh I love my shoes <laughs> I definitely want to do that again <laughs> and I think I I think I'll do a slip-on shoe instead of a one with ties because that didn't work out well <laughs> so this yellow paint what I did is I actually painted every other flower the ones that are more prominent that are closer to us because those would be the most they would be brighter and then the ones behind would be darker and what I did to make it darker and I go over with a second coat this one is just the yellow and it almost seemed too bright to me so what I end up doing is I actually mix with the yellow I mix in a little bit of that brown and I actually have an orange and so I mix in a little orange as well and I feel like it gave me the right amount of not this bright harsh yellow it was more of this very soft yellow as you can see right here. I just think it looks a lot better and then I what I do is I actually add just a little more um, Orange and brown to do the one the petals behind and so I Feel like it turned out really great and what I did later is I got the yellow and a lot of white and I was able to give it kind of this like highlight which was so cute. And then I just painted the middles brown. So here it is with the highlight. And I tried to kind of blend it in just a little bit. Um, but I, I didn't want to do too much detail in the middle of the flower. So I don't have like, cause if you look at a sunflower, it's got all those like little tiny dots or whatever. And technically, I mean, the middle is a lot bigger, but this is my rendition. So <laughs> I think it turns out really cute and really pretty. So I really like it. And like I said, it was really fun.
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, leave a like and a comment. Until next time, keep creating.